Hello everyone, this is Ami, aka Amy. Um, I'm doing a commentary on a video that I was sent. And I first want to mention that uh, Steve Quayle is really awesome. Uh, he's an awesome watchman and um, the man being interviewed who works with Steve Quayle is really on point. Um, and I received this, this uh, video that I'm sharing with you guys in the details of this, um, of this video. Um, I received that from another watchman and um, brother in Christ. So I watched it and um, I had no idea I was going to do this video today. Um, just thought I was going to listen to this the video and, and uh, you know, hear the information. And then um, there were some things that were coming to me. You know, I was just inspired and revelations came to me about the video. Uh, some things that were missed or some things I wanted to mention. So I'm going to go and show you the commentary on this um, on this video here that, that I've done. The whole point of this commentary is for you to hear what I'm saying and then listen to the video from Steve Quayle's YouTube page and then um, it's called Steve Quayle Vatican Plan to Unveil Ultimate Evil New Update 2017 uh, and then come back and watch this commentary again to compare what I've told you and uh, also what they're saying. Um, so here's my commentary. Um, the man being interviewed doesn't... the one thing I noticed that he does not convey unless I missed it or he doesn't realize it, is that there is no betrayal, quote, betrayal of the RCC, the Roman Catholic Church, by the Jesuits. There's no betrayal. Uh, they are, this, they are the, on the same side. Uh, they want the same thing and they all serve Satan in the establishment of the Roman Catholic Church slash Vatican. Um, it's all this, it's, this is a deception within deception. And that's what I want to, I want to make this point so you guys remember this as you watch what they're saying. There's deception within deception. So this is really important part to take from this message that I'm giving you. Um, and keep it in mind as things move faster to the ecumenical movement from the Pope and also into, into faithism. And as Christians, remember this, as Christians we cannot take any part of this ecumenical movement or into faithism. It's an abomination unto God. An example, so I'm going to give you an example of this deception within deception. Um, I don't know if you guys have had a chance to watch the video I did on black goo. Uh, it was a scientist being interviewed and um, I did a commentary on that video because there were things that I would noticed that I needed to share. Um, so basically just to, to give you an example from that, the scientist is saying that there's a good black goo and there's an evil black goo. Both of them are processed from natural things in the earth, but both of them are, are evil. There, there's no good black goo. Um, the whole point is that they're basically, you have one saying that there's a good, the scientist is saying that there's a good black goo that gives immortality, that gives these things. We all know that that's not, that's not of God, okay? So they're one and the same, so it's a win-win situation whether someone goes for the black bag, the, the bad black goo, or the good one. Win-win for the same entity that's working as two different things. So that's what I want to share with you, okay? So moving on. The man who's, uh, well, the ones that say the Jesuits are betraying the RCC, the Roman Catholic Church, I'm just going to say RCC from now on, um, or the Vatican, are also worshipping Satan. Um, the RCC establishment entirely, in entirety, is the synagogue of Satan, uh, spoken of in the book of Revelation, in the letter to the angel of the Church of Philadelphia. And that's why I did videos on this as well with all the details. That's why Pope Francis chose Philadelphia to do his global families meeting, quote unquote, in September 2015, activating and manifest, manifesting the false prophet. And as I've mentioned before, he manifested, manifested I'm sorry, as the dragon in Washington, D.C. on 9-23-2015 at 9-23 a.m and as the Antichrist heading the UN meeting in New York City, ushering in Agenda 2030 and the New World Order. It's the evil trinity imitating the Holy Trinity. The unclean spirits were released, I believe, in the upper room in Jerusalem in 2014 during the Pope's unholy mass in one of the most holy places, the upper room. Uh, that was where Jesus held the Last Supper, also where the, de the devil entered Judas Iscariot, and also where the Apostles received the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. Now keep that in mind, the Last Supper. Where did Satan move into in this, this holy place, the Last Supper, the Last Supper that we're supposed to observe as believers 
Um, well, the devil entered there again through Pope Francis, the dragon in the Antichrist. So again, we're seeing deception within deception with the Roman Catholic Church slash Vatican manifesting on earth now. You see there's going to be a split in the RCC. There's going to be a split. Oh, they're bad. Uh, you know, don't go with them. Go with us. You know, deceiving the Christians and as many people as possible. This is all part of the great deception. Um, so, for instance, one side are the non-Jesuits. Now, I don't know... Uh, you know, the Jesuit order is a really, it's a military order, and the Pope is the first Jesuit Pope, I believe. And uh, he's also the eighth king in Revelation. I've done many videos on that, um, on the, the, uh, the proof, the scriptural evidence that he is the Antichrist of Bible prophecy. But there's the one side, the non-Jesuits are claiming that they are, um, claiming that the Jesuits are bad and betraying the RCC, while they are both serving Satan and on the same side with the same agenda. Remember, the Roman Catholic Church, I think it was 40 million Christians by the papal sword, died for having the scriptures in their hands. And there, there's, way, there's so many videos I've done on the Roman Catholic Church uh, being the synagogue of Satan and the things that they've, they've already corrupted all of the churches. Um, so back to this. Remember, the word Jesus Christ says the mark of the beast calls for wisdom. There are a few different components in the system of the beast. One, to worship the image of the beast. Two, to take the mark of the beast either on the right hand, that would be to buy, sell, or trade to live with a technology of some kind, or in their foreheads, that would be in the mind, what they believe. Uh, maybe, you know, taking, uh, taking on the beliefs of the Roman Catholics and, uh, and forgetting the Holy Sabbath. Remember, the Sabbath is the seventh day and it's forever. The scriptures say that the Sabbath to keep it holy and it is the Sabbath forever. So the RCC of course uh, are the responsible for you know removing that making Sunday churches and I just did a video on that too. Um, the third component um, w to the mark of the beast or the system of the beast is this is where Jesus said we need wisdom is it's we have wisdom is needed for the number of the beast it is the number of a man and his number is 666 now I've done videos on this also vicarious fillet day is all of the Pope's title just like a president of the United States or whatever it's vicarious fillet day and in Latin converted to numbers it equals 666 that is identifying the Antichrist man and uh, Okay, so fact number one. Lucifer is the name of the Vatican's telescope in Phoenix, Arizona. It's one of the largest ones in the world. Um, there's a whole another thing. I, I did a video on the Phoenix as well, uh, involving pagan things. Fact number two. Pope Francis mentioned the abomination of baptizing aliens about a year or two ago. Quote, end quote, in case Jesus forgot. It's utter blasphemy. Fact number three. Francis is the Antichrist and the false prophet and is ran by the dragon Satan, which means Satan is in him or will enter him fully very shortly. It's the evil trinity imitating the holy trinity. And scholars believe it's at least two different flesh bodies. I, I believe that is off base because that would not be a real imitation or an accurate imita imitation of the holy trinity. A real imitation would be all three in one person, in one flesh body in one man, that would be Pope Francis. Um, the RCC in one way or another will achieve all to worship the first beast, which is the RCC slash Vatican, through interfaithism and all other umbrellas of which to pull in everyone of all the churches and pastors and rabbis to a false unity and a peace that is prophesied that's false as well. A false peace and unity. Yet, these pastors, churches, rabbis are blinded and they do not see what, what he's doing or they know and willingly aligned with the beast. The deception within the deception is the RCC priests saying that they're good and it's just the Jesuits that are bad. That's one way they'll pull in the believers. Or another way, uh, if people follow the Jesuit alien plan, that's believers and unbelievers, um, that's another way which will probably involve Project Blue Beam, which is a false rapture. And remember, uh, also, Jesus said, don't believe if someone says the Messiah is here or there. He said, don't believe them. Jesus said he knows his sheep and his sheep know his voice. Stay in the word of God, watch and pray, 
And if you're not already, get 1,000% or one million percent serious about living for Jesus now before it's too late. The door will be closing very soon. Um, back to the video notes. Uh, Barducci is a Catholic exorcism exorcist. Uh, he claimed before he died that the aliens will not challenge the authority of the Roman Catholic Church. You know why? Here's, here's my reason. Because the Roman Catholic Church is the synagogue of Satan and the aliens are demonic, probably 300,000 fallen angels that fell with Satan and all of the other minions and demons of hell. So the aliens in the RCC slash Vatican both serve Satan and the Antichrist is empowered in his flesh body by Satan, so of course they won't challenge him. Barducci also said that they are at the Vatican now, so these aliens are at the Vatican now. Um, about 26 min minutes into the video, they also discuss the ecumenical movement, which I've told a lot of you, I mean all of you about in, in videos that I've done, uh, orchestrated by Pope Francis. The fact that he sent letters that I know of to the American churches um, to align with his interfaithism, a false unity and peace, shows how the scriptures say, if possible, even the elect will be deceived. Because there are many churches that have aligned with him already. Also, 425 rabbis around the world, globally. It's time to wake all of God's children up now. We have to wake up. We have to wake up everybody. Um, because they could... If people don't love the truth, and they don't have the eyes set from the Holy Spirit, they will not see what's going on. And remember, the testimony of Jesus Christ is the spirit of prophecy. This is prophecy fulfilling. And uh, if, if believers ignore prophecy, they're ignoring the testimony of Jesus Christ. Um, so then are they truly believers? So we have to get in the word, fight this fight. It's a spiritual warfare. Um, and I did a message on this whole uh, uh, pastors falling into the alignment with the beast and things like that, churches. And, um, you know, again, pastors, if, you're, if there's any pastors watching this and you've gotten that letter from the Pope and you've aligned with this interfaithism church, repent and turn away now while you can. While you can. Um, and tell your congregation the truth because judge, God's judgment will come to those who lead the believers astray and the blood will be in your hands. That's in Hosea chapter 4 as well. And they also mention climate control and, as, and I've mentioned many times before it's all about interfaithism which is an abomination to God. All of these umbrellas that the Pope has is all about interfaithism. That's all it is. Just different ways of leading people in. The United Nation and Islam are the Pope's pets. They're all working under his orders. Everyone is working under the orders of the Pope. He's leading politics and government at the same time. Now remember, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Jesus, I'm going to read this whole thing. She's, Jesus is coming soon, so be prepared for persecution and hard times if the Lord tarries. This is the English sta Standard Version, and I'm going to start here. The Man of Lawlessness. Now keep this in mind when you, when you think about the Antichrist, because that's who the man of lawlessness is. Now concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our being gathered to him, we ask you, brothers, not to be quickly shaken in mind or alarmed, either by a spirit or a spoken word or a letter seeming to be from us, to the effect that the day of the Lord has come. Let no one deceive you in any way, for that day will not come unless the rebellion comes first. Let me put a side, side note in there. We've seen much rebellion globally, and it's increasing. And the man of lawlessness is revealed. Side note again. We have seen more and more people seeing who the Antichrist is right now. He's being revealed to God's chosen right now, and, and everyone, you know, the, the body of Christ. Um, so they're all starting to see him. Okay, so unless the rebellion comes first and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the son of destruction, who opposes, opposes and exalts himself against every so-called God or object or object of worship, so that he takes his seat in the temple of God, proclaiming himself to be God. That's Pope Francis. That's what he's, they all do that. They all exalt themselves above God. But he's the eighth king. It's the timing of prophecy. Uh, verse 5, do you not remember when I was still with you, I told you these things? And you know what is restraining him now, so that he may be revealed in his time. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Iniquity is the other translation. The mystery of iniquity is already at work. Only he who now restrains it will do so until he is out of the way. It's the Holy Spirit. And then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord Jesus will kill with the breath of his mouth and bring to nothing by the appearance of his coming. 
The coming of the lawless one is by the activity of Satan with all power and false signs and wonders and with all wicked deception for those who are perishing because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. Therefore God sends them a strong delusion so that they may believe what is false in order that they all be condemned who did not believe the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Now, stand firm. But this, uh, verse 13, but we ought always to give thanks to, to, to God for you, brothers beloved by the Lord, because God chose you as the first fruits to be saved through sanctification by the Spirit and belief in the truth. To this he called you through our gospel so that you may obtain the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. So then, brothers, stand firm and hold to the traditions that you were taught by us, either by spoken word or by our letter. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father who loved us and gave us eternal comfort and good hope through grace comfort your hearts and establish them in every good work and word. Amen. All the things we were talking about you can see in these scriptures and, and that's, that's, there's even more, there's so many prophecies being fulfilled right now so I just wanted to say the mystery of iniquity has been at work for a long time, the scriptures say so. You've got the Antichrist on the scene right now. Time is out. Time is running out. Um, so we have to shout out what God whispers in our ear from the rooftops. We have to, as watchmen, as soldiers for Christ, as believers, our job is to uh, always you know, pray, be in spirit and prayer, be a good soldier for Christ, know the Word of God, 2 Timothy 2.15, um, so that not only are we in a strong relationship with the Lord, but we also can help others from being deceived. So uh, I just want to share all that with you, and as you watch that video, please think of the things that I shared with you, and then maybe come back to this video again to see exactly what I'm talking about, because it may seem like um, not cohesive. I took notes, writing down things while I was listening. So um, that'll be it for right now. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for listening. God bless you, and I'll see you the next time.